Yo, what up? You guys all right? Hey, YouTube, what's going on? We'll do this short little video. I know a lot of y'all looking like, damn, you look scruffy. But what else is new? I always look scruffy. I don't like getting my hair cut. And I damn sure don't like shaving because, you know, I'm old as hell and I'm finally getting a beard. I'm trying to grow this beard out right to get it just right. And you got to go through scruffy looking nerf herder type of way just to get the beard right and tight. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I digress. I want to do this video because, you know, I did a video about a, my first oppression about Orissa. I did a video about Doomfist. I never did one on Sombra and, and Anna, but I'll do one on Mora. Let me explain something to you. Mora is amazing. I, I think she's one of the best new characters to ever come out in Overwatch. I like her. I like her a lot. Um, I heard people say that she played like a little bit of May with a tad bit of Reaper and this and that, but you know, that's your own opinion. In my opinion, she plays like a little bit like, well, I play her like Lucio Symmetra. She plays like that to me. And those are my two best and um, most played characters. So I play her like that. But um, the reason why I come out with this video is because I feel that a lot of Moras, Moria, well, I don't know how to really say her name, but I feel a lot of Morias are playing her all wrong. And, uh, I mean, I know she has DPS-like qualities, but I, you, a lot of you uh, people that's trying her out or want to main her, you have to realize that she's a support character. And more importantly, she's a healer. A lot of people are playing her like they would Reaper or Genji or even Tracer. Like, you are know your role. You're support. You're not a DPS character. Yeah, I know you can get gold in the limbs and even get gold in damage. A support character doing that, and, I, and, and you know, like I said, I too, I too get the uh, the killjoy bug and want to, you know. But your job and your role is to keep your team alive. You understand what I'm saying? And I see a lot of more is on the opponent's team or even on my team. They just forget that you got to heal. And then I got into a little debate with a couple people on a bunch of Overwatch Facebook groups. And the main main thing is people be like, well, you can run out of heal. You run out of resources. And um, and you got to kill to get resources. Let me break that down to you. Before that, let me explain something to you. The healing orb is called orange juice, OJ. The death purple orb is either called jelly or prune juice. When you spray your heal on people, we're gonna call that vitamin C or Neosporin. I hate when people call it pee. Why are you peeing on somebody? Pee don't heal people. Pee piss people off and make you wanna kill them. The fuck? But anyway, I digress. I'm telling you this right now. The main gripe is people be like, well, I run out of heals. See, so you have to kill in order to build that meter up. Let me explain something to you. If you are running out of heals, you are a bum. You are a bum. You should never run out of heals. The reason why I say that is because you're pressing and holding the button down too long. If you're running out of heals, see, a lot of people think that spray, that vitamin C, is basically like Mercy's beam. No, her heals, her primary fire, is just like Zenyatta's. You douse your, you douse your teammates with a little heal, and when you stop dousing them, it still heals for like maybe one or two nanoseconds or like half a second. So you, your main primary goal is to douse them. Just spray them a little bit, let off the trigger. You understand me? Now, nah, you don't do that with Neosporin. If you know, I'm, I'm telling my age because a lot of people don't know what Neosporin is. Neosporin was a was like a anti, what is it? Antiseptic or something like that. And you just spray it on the wound and the cut. You don't just sit there and go keep it on the wound. You just douse the wounded area when you get a scrape from you know when he's a kid and then you let the air hit it and then it'll bubble up and then it'll get all rid of the germs and diseases and infections and you yeah that's what you do you treat it like that you don't just like i said you treat her you treat her primary fire like you would zenyatta's heel balls and not like mercy's heel beam once you do that you'll never run out of fucking heel and then another reason why y'all running out of heel is because you're not throwing out orange juice the heel orb you're throwing out prune juice. You're throwing out death orb. No. Your primary goal is a healer. You understand what I'm saying? You got to heal your teammates. So once you're throwing out the heal orb, 
that will alleviate the pro the problem of you running out of heels. You know what I'm saying? And people were coming at me and trying to come at my neck yesterday talking about, oh man, that's not you're not you're on the you're not playing more now. You're playing more wrong. I'm like, no, I'm playing more fucking right. Nigga, you the one playing more wrong. You the one that's running out of the heels. Hey, never after you know, in season seven, she's my most played character right now. I got 15, 14, 15 hours on her. And uh, after hour five, I never ran out of heels. Because I know how to fucking play her. Another thing is, listen to me. Listen to me when I tell you this. Stay around your tanks. Keep your tanks alive. Your primary mission, if you have tanks, is stay around your tanks. Keep them healed up. And, you know, flankers will come around like Reaper, Tracer, Junk Rat. Kill them. Your primary goal is to keep keep the team alive, but more importantly, keep the tanks alive and pick off the the flanks that's trying to kill them. Like case in point, we was on a risk, we was on uh, the university in Oasis, and this fucking uh, tracer was hounding the shit out of my Arissa. So I healed her. I was busy healing her and taking sapping energy from that tracer, and I kept my tank alive, and we took the point. A lot, that's another thing. A lot of these players, they they DPS players that's coming over to a, their first support character, which is more, and they playing it like DPS. Meanwhile, I'm a support, mainly support type of guy, and I use Lucio and Smetcher the most, and I use her like like Lucio. You have to crossfade, you know. You got to switch between her alternate fire and her primary fire. If we in a, and we in the thick of things fighting. And my tanks, I'm healing my tanks. Then I switch and try to take some energy from the uh, from the DPS. Then I heal my tanks. So you got to crossfade that shit. I'm telling you, it works. But a lot of people don't, you know, because I'm man. Look, when you with a tank and you keep your tanks alive, I'm telling you, if you keep your tanks alive and you taking a point or objective or you in a payload, eight out of ten times you're gonna win those battles because you're keeping your tanks alive. Eight out of ten. Those two other times, you're going to get outplayed. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? Pick it up, my son. Hold on. Hey, Jalen. Hey. Have a good night. Have a good evening. How was school? Good. Oh, you're going to be part of my YouTube video. So, yeah. So, 8 out of 10, you keep your, you keep your tanks alive. <coughs> They'll do damage. And then now I hear a lot of people is like, well, I get golden limbs because the DPS ain't doing their job. No, it's not they're not doing their job. You overextending yours. Let the DPS do their job. Your job is to keep them alive. And more importantly, keep the tanks alive. You keep the, the battle or the sway of the battle will go how the way the tanks go. You keep because there's been plenty of times, numerous times now, where I'll be playing and I'll keep my tanks alive, and then we're getting attacked by a mora. If we're getting attacked by a mora. That means that the other team is not getting healed, or our flankers or our DPS is killing that other that other um their other healer while their second healer is fighting us. So they're at a severe disadvantage. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I'm with a Roadhog and um, a Roadhog and a and um and a Arissa and a Reaper, and we're we're fighting. And there's a Moria and a Soldier 76 in our area fighting us. And that's the only healer. Why is she over here fighting us? Once we take her out, we take the point. Because you're not, you, you overstepping your boundaries. That's like if you work at a retail, let's say you work at Burger King. You, your, your primary role is a cashier. Why the hell are you in the back flipping burgers, turning over flies, fries, or, you know, taking orders from the uh, drive through Your main primary goal is to work the cash register. Know your role and shut the hell up. You know, The Rock said that. So, I mean, it just pisses me off when people, like, they think they know how to play Moria, but at the end of the day, y'all messing up. She's a support character. Do your job. Support. That's it. I'm out. Peace.